Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. Today we are attending two games. The first of which is Shelburne versus Bohemians at Talker Park. We obviously know this game earlier in the season. Finished 1-1 with uh, late drama in the game. Shells taking the lead and both scoring late on to get the equaliser and Rory Feely, Rory Feely sorry, getting sent off. So um, this has the makings of a really good game. The weather's kind of been in and out. It's been sunny for a while. It's been rainy. It's back kind of sunny and kind of um, mild out. So let's see how we get on. It's half time here at Talk Park and it's 2 1 to Bowes. Uh, first goal was a bit sloppy from Shell's point of view, uh, conceding like that, two players falling over, a bit of a catalogue of errors, deflected in past Brendan Clark. But Shell's came back into the game, got a brilliant headed uh, goal from the corner from Sean Boyd, and then just before the break, a bit of a calamitous penalty, and it was dispatched by Dawson the Voice. It's 2 1 here at Talk Park and we'll keep it updated. So, big second half to come. Congratulations, 4-1 uh, win here at Talker Park. Uh, it hasn't been easy for teams, I suppose, against Shells uh, so far. You, you know, they're playing them earlier in the season, but 4-1, uh, after, I suppose, a little bit of a, a difficult spell recently, but it's good for years to bounce back now. Yeah, very good. Like you said, um, Shelburne have been very good, very competitive. Um, uh, their home form has been, you know, has been, hasn't been, you know, quite as good as their away form. Um, uh, but they're very organised, young, energetic, hungry team, and... Uh, Coming on the back of a good result up in Derry, a brilliant result up in Derry. You know, they would have felt coming into today's game that we were there for the take, and particularly when, you know, some of the, our own results haven't gone the way we would have liked. Um, so it was a pleasing performance, particularly, the, you know, we, in quick su succession, um, we've been able to bounce back, which, which was important for us to, you know, answer some of the, you know, I suppose, um, negativity that's been around, you know, Dalyman Park and, and, you know, as a result of, of our performances, our results, you know, I think if I'm being brutally honest with you, that was probably coming a little bit. I think some of our performances recently have been better, you know, and uh, 
but we're we're 11 games into the season like you know what I mean it's a funny league so far um, I said last week that m most managers I would imagine are disappointed with their points return uh, 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 to, to this point in the season so um, I stand by that I, I think we can improve as a team I think we'll get better uh, as confidence comes back into the group and obviously today is a is a confidence boosting performance and result yeah I, I mean the other night people are very looking at that almost as a loss. It was a 2-2 draw, you, didn't, you, didn't, you lost, you conceded two points, but you didn't lose the game, kind of the way people were going on. But I suppose from your point of view, it was good to bounce back and then you'd goal scorers from all over the pitch, which I imagine yeah. would give your players a lot of confidence now going forward. Well, I hope so. Uh, yeah, I think today's performance was was it was a positive display. and it was, it was important to bounce back after Friday night. And like you said, we didn't lose, but it felt like a defeat. You know, um, obviously the last kick of the game to concede a goal, having, you, you know, dominated the game, um, albeit that they were down to 10 men and then nine men for, for the final minute, you know, so we didn't quite take our chances, we weren't as clinical or as ruthless as we were in front of goal today. Uh, last week in Drogheda we did something similar, bossed the game, probably dominated possession, created some chances, maybe not as many as we did on Friday, as not as many as we did today, but we didn't take them when they came our way and that leaves us a little bit vulnerable. So. Um, you know, all I can do is, uh, you, you know, thank the players for, for how they've reacted, their positivity over the weekend, because it can be difficult coming into the dressing room, um, you know, to find the right words um, and the, how the players feel. Um, they were they were hugely disappointed after recent, um, uh, I suppose, results, performance-wise. Can we improve? Of course, we're always looking to, to improve performances, and it's all... Today was a great game for us in that regard, a Dublin derby, you know, both, both teams committed and I think we showed, we, we capitalised on, on, on some, some errors by the opposition and we showed our quality when we needed to but also, you know, we showed that little bit of resilience, you know, we, we won our duels, won our battles, won our 1v1s and I think that was important for us today as well to give us a platform in the game. I think the fact that the games come so quick and fast, it can be sometimes a negative but also sometimes a positive, like for example, you know, the, the game Friday, you come back, play yeah. today, win 4 1. Shells, for example, they go beat Derry and then they come here and lose 4 1. It's, yeah, it's, it's football. Like that, isn't it? It's football, you know, so we should never be surprised, certainly in this league. You know, strange things happen. Um, you know, we, we lost the game recently in, in against Derry late in, um, in, the, in the game um, when we probably felt we, we, we deserve to hang on or deserve to get a point but we followed that up with a really good performance down in Sligo with a 1-0 win um, so we were able to do that today can we do it again on Friday in another Dublin derby against Shamrock Rovers you know we just have to make sure that we manage our recovery do everything that we can live like monks make sure that we're ready for Friday night so um, Rovers play this evening against Dundalk so um, it gives us an opportunity maybe to have a look at that and uh, we know they're a quality side with quality players. It doesn't matter who comes into their eleven, um, you know, and they're winning games. So we've got to get, you know, our performance levels right for Friday, and to try and make sure that we have a go and and get up against Rovers in, in the derby. Passionate home support, travelling away support. It was great to have that here today. It's a it's a long time since I've been in Talca Park, you know, with a crowd so full. Um, you know, Shell supporters right behind their team, both supporters behind their team, and I think that's what the league desperately needs and it'll be something similar on Friday night. Mm. Well, just uh, the fact that on the Friday night we're both in a rush to get the talent now, so uh, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Right. Cheers. So it's finished 4-1 at Talca Park. Um, I didn't get managed to get a video inside as I was leaving, but I did speak with Keith Long, so you can check that out as well. But uh, this was a bit of a disaster from Shell's point of view, but perfect uh, way to bounce back for, from a Bowes perspective, um, the 4-1 win. But I felt like Shell's really gave um, the first couple of goals away that quite sloppily. Done well to get back into it, the goal with Sean Boyd, but um, then gave away a penalty, Dawson the voice scores that, and then it was all really about in the second half who could get the next goal. And it was Chris Twardek who got the goal for Bowes, and then Liam Bird, who I thought was excellent today, he got. Um, well, he made this unbelievable jinky run, ran past loads of people, left a few players on their arse. And um, then Brent Clark actually made a really good save, but the ball fell literally to Junior's foot and uh, he couldn't miss at that stage. So that's the way the game panned out. Uh, I think the rain added a bit of spice to it. There was tackles flying in. Um, the ref done well to not let it get dirty in terms of the tackles and stuff like that. Um, 
it was never really dirty but the challenges were flying in uh, throughout the game but look you're going to expect that from a Dublin derby anyway but um, it finished 4-1 let, let me know what you think of the video let me know your thoughts were Shells unlucky or did they make their own uh, mistakes there or were, were Bowles just brilliant um, I'm sure there's plenty of Bowles fans who are going to give uh, plenty of stick on this video so fair enough I welcome it um, yeah let us know your thoughts in the comments and I'll speak to you on a bit